Hey guys, it's Mokazanki. So, during this video, well, you'll see what happened, but I'm sure a lot of you can already guess, and that is I got my max cape back. So, at the moment, uh, what I was doing here is just jack of trades because I was really, really close to um, 99 divination, and I just wanted to get the last few XP through jack of trades. So, initially, I kind of told some people in the friends chat, um, I'm you could come see me get 99 if you wanted, um, but the reason why I didn't do that, there was no party or anything. First of all, I really don't like parties that much. I've only done two of them ever, once for 99 Slayer and once for the uh, original Max Cape that I got. Um, but yeah, I decided not to do a party. The main reason for that is because it was actually just a few minutes away from Warbands, and I really wanted to do Warbands. I didn't want to miss out on Warbands that night. Um, so I just had to really quickly, you know, get this over with, get my cape, and then go do Warbands. And I just wanted it to be a quick thing, so... Anyway, um, yeah, it took me absolutely forever to get 99 Divination, but uh, I finally did it. I just ate, pretty much just forced myself to train this skill for about 10 days in a row. Um, and I really would rather, you know, do Slayer or something else, but I figured, you know, in the end, it's probably worth it to get the Max Cape back. So um, I haven't made a whole lot of progress in the Completionist Cape since the last Completionist Cape video I made, which was a long, long time ago. Um, but I have gotten a couple of the engineering levels. I just haven't recorded them or anything because um, I'm not really technically going for completion escape. I'm just, once I get 120 to engineering, I might as well get it. But here's the big moment. I just got to gotta quick chat my progress. So I got the um, Jack of Trades book, and I'm finally going to be able to wear my Max Cape again. I've missed it. I think it was two and a half months ago that Divination came out or so, and I have not had my Max Cape since then. So I've been having to wear, you know, my Tokar cowl and stuff and look like a complete noob. But there we go, 9.5k XP in Divination, and I got level 99 Divination and also maxed out my account. So there you go. That's it. That's all there is to it. So later on in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what else I need left for the Completionist Cape. Um, as I said, the main plan is just to, once I get 120 to engineering, I'm really going to try to start doing sinkholes every day because they're really, really worth doing. Um, you can get a, like 150k to engineering a day just from doing the sinkholes. I really don't like doing sinkholes, but they don't take very long, and I think they're really worth it. So I'm going to start doing sinkholes and get that 120 to engineering twice as fast, and obviously the daily challenge every day. But that's all I'm doing from Kalisha's completion is cape at the moment and uh, once I have 120 to engineering done it's just a uh, livid farm and then I'm just to have just about have completion cape up okay here I am at the top of the Varrock Museum and we're about to engage in one of the most cliche things ever and so yeah I can now wear my max cape um, I do have a keepsake as well so that's why the max cape stays on even when I take it off but um, yeah I think it looks pretty cool I don't remember why I picked these colors because I did it a few months ago but anyway um, I'm just going to really quickly see what else I have to do for the completion escape because as far as I know it's just livid farm and like a couple other small requirements. Um, I can't exactly remember what those are. I also do have like a completion escape calculator thing that I've been using but okay so I have to do like the what's mine and yours tasks which are really annoying. I tried doing them and I just I don't know I kind of gave up because I got confused and then I looked up a guide but uh, I would rather go slay so I just kind of gave up on that one. Thousand Charms price takes like three hours. Hunting the Thalassus doesn't take long. I need to unlock one more piece of music. I think that's from the new Barrows minigame because I did have all the music pieces unlocked until recently. Um, so other than that, pretty much the only real difficult stuff I have to do is 120 engineering, all the lived farm stuff, and bones to peaches. Um, and that's about it. I guess the Charm sprites too because that takes a few hours, but. That doesn't really seem like a whole lot. It's mostly just the 120 to engineering and living farm, and then maybe like one more day of random stuff, and then I'm done. So anyway, um, the completion completion escape suddenly doesn't seem too far out of reach. And at the moment, I'm 2.5 million XP off of 115 to engineering, or 43 million XP off of 120. So that's still going to take a while. Um, I'll be working towards that, but uh, we'll see what I do. I just I don't really do engineering teams anymore because if you've been on World 77, there's hardly anyone there, and it's really difficult to find a team. So that's not always fun. But anyway, looks so cool to have everything at 99 again. 